to my channel. I have a very special guest with me today. Hi. This is Ali. Ali is my hair guru, my hair god. I am not worthy. I am not worthy. <laughs> she is my girl. And today we are here to talk to you guys about how to use hair extensions. So Irresistible Me was kind enough to send us a pack of their Silky Touch extensions um, in the color 1B, which is kind of a soft black. So you can't just like buy extensions and put them in your hair and like look pop in. Like there are certain things you need to consider when you buy hair and um, and then things you need to do after you get it. So that's why Ali is here. She is going to show us how to properly install the extensions and then what to do next and how to care for them and all of that. So let's get started. Hey guys, so this is how the Irresistible Me, is it Irresistible? Irresistible, irresistible. not me. Oh, it is me. It is Irresistible. Okay. Cause you irresistible are irresistible. irresistible. I am Irresistible. <laughs> um, they come with a little piece right here to check to make sure they are the same color as yours. They always say open this piece because if you open them both, you can't send it back and if it's the wrong color, you're SOL. Can we say that? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> so if you don't use the same piece, there we go. We're gonna try this out. We already looked on Crystal's hair to make sure it matched. If you could see, we'll just throw it on the side here just so you could see. It blends pretty perfect with hers. Because extensions are expensive and if it doesn't like fit your color, you, like, you're out. You're so out. it's really important to try with the little tester to yep. make sure. And once you open this tester, it's also another extra piece. So you yes. have that other piece. So don't lose it. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. You'll love that one piece. But we're going to open these just to show you how thick they really are. Yes. We had to look at them before to see what we were doing. We're really excited because... We're so excited. Um, so when I talked to the gals at Irresistible Me, they talked about this one particular weft that's kind of their signature weft that they put in each bundle. I'm just going to grab it from you, Allie, because I wanted to... Um, just this big one here. Um, so this weft that they had, um, and they're not sponsoring this video, you guys, so don't, like, don't even think about that, but, um, <laughs> this, like, I'm really excited because this is, like, a big, look at the size of this weft, you they're guys. They're really like, thick, guys. This is huge. I'm, um, I'm really I definitely don't think things. they're usually this thick. Look at this. Look at what your fingers. Yeah, like, I've never seen a weft that, typically they're, you know. That big. This big. May, maybe doubled up from that, but. Totally. Um, that one, one weft is really impressive. This is probably as thick as your normal hair. I, I think that's it. That's like <laughs> yep. all of my hair. This is all we need. Um, yep. And what's really cool from what the gal told me, and I'll confirm, and then um, if that's the case, I'll make sure I link it down in the description box below. You can actually just order this one piece. Oh, so cool. let's say you have like a pair of extensions that you really like, but you want more volume, or you want just like one kind of big piece to fill it out, you can actually order just this one four weft piece to add into your existing collection. Or if you buy, you know, a normal set like we did, um, and you want more you can again just buy the one piece which I thought was a really cool option I've never seen a company just sell like the one, one piece. piece before cool. so yeah this hair feels really nice though it is like a really <laughs> nice. so everything is linked down in the description box below including the length and color that we chose all right guys we're back and we are gonna prep crystal's hair for her extensions so her Crystal, dirty hair <laughs> Crystal has went to the gym and opened her windows because of course it's February but it is 80 degrees here it's <laughs> beautiful out maybe 70 but 80 in the rest of the world mm -hmm. <laughs> so we are over here sweating and you guys are freezing we're sorry sorry but, but we open the windows and get messy hair so it's really hot today like I feel like I've been sweating a lot well we did run up and down the stairs a few times That's so true. That's true. <laughs> step one okay so we're gonna part her hair where she normally parts it you part over here mm -hmm. okay so we're gonna part her over here section it off and I'm gonna go through and just straighten her a little bit. We're just gonna get a little bit of kinks out and then I'm gonna put the extensions in and we're gonna straighten those. The extensions come curled so we wanna kind of give them the same texture as the hair to cut them first and then we'll go back and give them a style. I did an awesome job shaking my hair out. And um, before we install the extensions, we want to talk for a second about the fact that you can't just, like I mentioned in the intro, put them in and look pop in um, because they come and they're all one length and your hair won't be all one length. It'll be like different layers and stuff. And even if your hair is one length and then the extensions are another length, you're going to have that blunt line. So it's really important to take your extensions to your stylist to have them blended. So Ali's going to demonstrate that, but I wanted to bring that up before we got to the installation process so that you guys kind of knew what was coming. So um, I am going to, I imagine, turn around and Ali's going to place these um, in my hair where they're supposed to be so that way you guys can do the same at home. 
All right, guys, I'm gonna give you a quick breakdown. These come in little rows, so I always start with the longer ones, so set them up on your counter, longer to shorter, because they do come in different sizes. This is clearly the thickest one that we were talking about before with the four rows, so this is the thicker one that's gonna be put in the bottom. I'm gonna hand that to you. And then there's all these little side ones that we're gonna put in. I think there's one more um, weft in here to go across the top of it. So we're gonna go ahead and section these all out, and we're gonna put them in order, and then we'll show you how they look in Crystal's hair. All right guys, so I'm gonna section out her hair. I'm gonna turn you a little bit, just so that. We're gonna take this section down here, and if you can see, I'm using this clip, and if you use the pointy part of your clip, it's gonna give you that perfect line. So you see this line that we've created right here? You're gonna have that line. And we're gonna take the three, and we're gonna put these, we're gonna put them a little higher. You wanna find the exact place of the neckline. So if she has a little skinnier neck, we're gonna go a little higher. You can see we wanted to hit the corners of each. That one hits perfectly. So we're gonna put it in. You're gonna open those clips and then put it in the hair and push. <laughs> All right, that's the first one. Now we're gonna go up to the next row. And I feel like there's nothing that you're doing right now that the you know people at home can't do themselves outside of the cu the cutting. Like when we get to the cut, I know that's not something that people should do on their own. Totally. But outside of that, I feel. I like always say there's one more thing. If you're not really good with your extensions, or if, let's say you are, you're gonna take these sections and you're gonna back home them first. This little bit of teasing will cause the hair to just stick to it a little better. So we're gonna get that in there. If you have really clean, slippery hair, you're gonna go with a dry shampoo or um, a root texture. It's just gonna give you a little more roughness in there to hold it. Hey guys, you see how I'm clipping it in? That middle one, we always want to keep in the middle of the head. Push your head off a little bit. And while we're back here, I'm just gonna straighten these because this is the first time we ever touched them. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have Crystal, put those in your lap. I'm just gonna have Crystal hold the hair against her head and that just makes it not move because we want to keep them in the proper positions. We don't want them to move, so just kind of push on it for me, yeah. Tell me if I hurt you. We just want to make these straight so we could kind of get the same effect of real hair. You can't cut these curly. You're not going to get the same texture, the same look. Yeah. All right, guys, so we came to the bigger one. If you're going to use this by yourself, I suggest to go from ear to ear because that's where the biggest piece will fit on your head. There is four clips, so like I said, we always want to make sure we find the middles. So here's the middle of this one between the two clips. straightened so we're going to cut them next but I wanted to show you first of all how absolutely beautiful they are and I'm holding this piece because this is where my natural hair ends so right here and then this is where the extension is so there's quite a huge length difference but they are like the I feel like the weight of them they're not too heavy so they actually just look like my hair but longer they look amazing I mean it's pretty some pretty <laughs> it's hair, so. pretty awesome if it was blended you could kind of see how these ends I mean go ahead and stand up yeah you can see how these ends are they're a little frazzled so we just want to make them look a little more real there's no texture we're just gonna kind of give a little bit of pieces in here just so it looks like her real hair yeah and we but can kind of see like when you stand up like if you're really looking you can see the end of my hair and then the bluntness here so Ali is going to trim and take care of all that and then um, again well, let me sit down um, <laughs> so you really don't want to attempt to cut these your at home yourself because you spent a lot of money on them. So spend the extra $34, go to your stylist. So if you're in Phoenix and you want to go to Allie to have your extensions cut in, all of her information will be in the description box. Um, but you don't want to cut this yourself because you can end up really ruining the hair that you bought. What you do, you guys can see that you definitely want them cut because then you start getting like separation and stuff. So um, we will be right back with the cutting. Okay guys, so I brought you in a little bit closer because Allie is about to show us how to blend the extensions and I'm really, really excited because this is gonna take them from looking from like fierce, I think to just like nuclear bomb, like just like the like an A-bomb. They need a little step up. They're amazing, but we wanna make them fabulous. Just a little like a job. All right guys, so we're just gonna clean up the ends. I think we're gonna keep them pretty long because we don't wanna get rid of them. If we want, we can cut them again, but we're gonna start with that. Um, I'm gonna put oil on my shears because it is fake hair. So I'm gonna take my shears and we're gonna just throw a little bit of oil in these little corners so that way it just slithers through the hair. You kinda just take your scissor, put it on the little corners. Not that you're doing this at home, but I hope that when you get your hair done, this is what they do. Yes. And if you are in a situation where you're going to get your extensions cut, say, hey, I saw this video and the girl did this, blah, blah, blah. So make sure they do that too. Yeah. Or bring it up and make sure you show it to them. There you Whatever. go. We're cool like that. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to turn Crystal around and we're going to get her started. Bye.
Okay guys, so the cut is done and I'm kind of running my, th my hands through my hair to make sure that everything looks and feels even and it does. Um, if you guys can tell, and I'm gonna stand up so you guys can see, that blending made them look so much more natural. So see we have like, this is where my hair is. All of the little cuts that she made kind of end up making, giving them layers, giving the hair texture. And uh, we were kind of joking that it kind of almost gives you split ends a little bit, which is actually kind of more what your natural hair is going to look like anyway. So it just kind of ends up looking like real hair the whole way down. So I am in love with these extensions. I cannot wait to like keep wearing them. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching you guys. And oh yeah, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And you know I'm always hanging around after a video goes live. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!